Hi, today in this video I will be showing you how to put together the 3D Apple box from Simply Crafty SVGs. So I started with the bottom piece of the box, so it's a larger piece, and it has uh, two little hexagons that will go on the bottom. And the first thing you want to do is fold on the score lines. You want to just be a little bit careful towards that middle part. Your score lines may not be as deep as mine. If you're using cut dash lines, uh, you should be fine. But if you're using something like a uh, score tool from uh, Maker, it might be a little bit rougher to get those creases in there. So once we have it good and folded, we're going to start gluing together the sides. So you could start with just a couple tabs, but I'm just going to add glue to all four tabs. I'm going to show you two me methods. Um, I believe the second one works better than this first one. So this first one I just tried going from the very end here and matching up that top edge here to the corresponding side. Just matching up that edge to the tab fold and going down. But I found it's easier to go from the bottom, or I should say really the top of the box, which is where that middle cutout piece is, to the bottom. So whatever works for you, you might want to try it one way and move it around in your hands to see what works. But what you really, the key to this is to glue one tab and then go on to the next and just making sure that the sections match up. And for that one, I had to do a little extra work because uh, of the way I did it. So this next one is going to be the way that I recommend you doing it for all of them. Unless, of course, you know, I'm a right-hander, so you never know how a left-hander might, might uh, manage these better. Like I said, you could always just, just two, two tabs at a time or... But you see, I match up that bottom one and just hold it for as long as I need to with my glue. I'm using uh, art glitter glue currently. And you see, I'm just matching up the sections and making sure that that edge matches up to the tab fold. Sorry about that. I'm going out of uh, focus a little bit again here. But you get the gist. It's the same for all the uh, sides. And a lot of it, is, most of this, when you're doing things like this, is patience. And um, always keep kind of a wet paper towel or something on the side that you can make sure you get any excess glue that comes through. So I usually do have a wet paper towel on the side. So we're just going to go a little faster, so I will come back, just continue watching me put this together, and I'll be back shortly.
So we're just finishing up this last side. The nice thing about uh, this particular design is that you can reach in from the large area on that top opening. So you can apply pressure with your fingers inside pretty easily. So now we're going to add that bottom piece. Now there's two pieces. Uh, I do this with some of my designs where I um, add a piece, make it easy for you to to attach the bottom piece. You're just going to stick it in there and glue those tabs. And then we'll put one on the bottom as well to hide the tabs. They're so small it's just uh, it just makes it easier to to attach it sometimes and line it up. Now one thing I have to note, so we're just adding glue on the inside portions of these tabs and I'm flipping them up so it's easier to add the glue and then we'll flip them back down. You'll see momentarily. Um, but what I want to note is when you're doing 3D uh, designs like this, if you're a little bit off, I mean it could be that that hexagon doesn't completely cover or is a little bit off and that just could be from the way you glue the sides. So you can see that you can see the glue in there and we're just going to line it up in there. So we just want to fit it in so the edges match the inside tab folds of those little bottom tabs. That way we can apply pressure from the top. We could put it on the bottom directly too but this hides the tabs inside as well. So if you prefer doing the bottom way, you could always use that to hide the tabs on the inside. So I'm just applying pressure with my finger. And then what we'll do is add that bottom piece. So just try to uh, go around with the glue, a fine line of glue on the outside just to make sure that you have adhesion on the outer edges. And try to match it up best you can. Again, it was just a smidgen off, so try to line it up best you can, but that's just due to the way that I put the sides together, but it's really not that noticeable on the bottom just cleans it up a little bit. You can always uh, ink the edges too. That always hides any kind of uneven edges. It, and even if you have a little leakage in glue, that's always a good thing you could do around the edges. But you just try to keep your fingers clean of glue when you're doing things like this. So that finishes the bottom piece. So now we're going to move on to the top. And we're gonna, going to fold it just like we did the top. Basically, it'll go together identically. It's just a smaller piece. So again, be careful when you're folding on the score lines around that middle section. You don't want to tear it. And then once we have it all folded on the score lines, We'll put it together just like we did the top piece. So now we'll put it together just like we did that uh, bottom piece. So we're just going to glue those tabs and you'll start from the, that really is the middle or the bottom of the lid to the top. And you see there's only two tabs in each section. So this is repetitive, just like the bottom piece. We just want to make sure we line up those edges to the tab folds. So we're going to just jump ahead here. So we're getting close to being finished. And once we're finished, we'll go ahead and add that top piece. So we're going to do it the same way we did on the bottom which we're going to insert a hexagon in the inside first and glue it to the inside and then we'll show you how we attach that top piece with the stem and the um, leaf. 
So I'm just really careful about getting glue. You can see I got a little glue on the edge there, but try to wipe off any excess glue as I go along, making sure that I'm not getting on the outside. Since we don't have panels on this particular box, and it's just the paper that you make it with, you just have to be careful. So you see you have a piece with a slit in it and one without, so we're going to use the one without to put on the inside. The one with the slit we'll use to insert the um, stem. I hate that when you get kind of a, a brain hiccup, you can call it a hiccup. So we're just making sure that that hexagon lines up best you can on the inside. You get to push in the edges just a little bit or readjust. And if it's not perfect, um, again, it's just the way that you uh, put it together. It could be just slightly off and have a little gap in an edge, and that's okay. With these, it's everything. You see there's a little gap there. We'll just kind of slightly adjust the top panel to uh, cover it best we can. So there's that top panel. Just making sure the textured side is up. So before we can add that, we have to add the uh, leaf and stem. So before we do that though, we'll have to add the inner edge, which will create the uh, insert for the top box. So we're going to go ahead and fold on all the score lines. And we're going to mount and fold on the tabs first and then we'll fold it back for a valley fold because it needs to glue on the inside bottom inside edge of that uh, lid piece. You need to pull it down here so that's how it's going to go but those tabs are going to glue outward basically underneath the edge. So this is where you want to get a nice crisp edge when you're folding it back the other way. And I do it, I say to fold it the natural way first, because that helps you get the fold, and then the valley, which is an inner fold. Then we want to glue this edge here, this little uh, tab on the end, to create kind of a hexagonal shape. Get it as close as you can to the the f tab fold. We want it to fit as well as we can. Um, it'll kind of bulge a little bit if it if you don't glue it that side tab right exactly to the fold. So we're gonna glue it underneath like that. So we're gonna do one tab first. Just gonna add glue on this top edge and be careful trying to stay away from the um, the fold inside fold because you don't want the glue showing on the top. Which you'll see that I do that um, with some other tabs. Then you just want to apply pressure and you can just reach in and apply pressure with your finger underneath and on top at the same time. And get that good and secure because that's the thing that anchors it. And then we're going to fold it back and add glue to all the other tabs. So when you fold it back might want to hold it a little bit just to make sure. And then you can add just a little bit more pressure. I'm going to fold the tabs in inward so they'll be ready to add glue and so when we pull it down the glue is less likely to get on the edges. And if you're smart about it when you're adding glue just try to stay away like I got a little close to the um, edge there. Try to stay a little bit less away from the edge and you have to I know this is a little bit of a challenge, you kind of, with the, some glue it dries really quick. So put enough so it's wet so it doesn't dry before you get to the last tab and you start gluing. But you're going to carefully fold it down. I wasn't so careful. It's different when you're doing a video because you, you have to pay attention to where your hands are. Um, 
not as much my focus is more on showing you how to do this than to maybe do it exactly right so there I got a little glue on the top and I'll wipe it off so the best strategy here I think is always to glue the opposite tab of the first one you anchor and then go around carefully and line them up to the edges and get them uh, just kind of fold the tabs up and glue them underneath that that edge The thing with these this box too is that it can it'll kind of have a little edge on the top that kind of bows up. So when you put it in, it's going to be a tight fit. I did that on purpose, so it kind of has a little bit of a spring or a, a gap. Now you can go ahead and kind of push it in a little bit, apply pressure on the edges. Just be careful not to tear it. You could do that for the bottom as well, but the bottom is a little bit more fragile. I have been known to cut a little edge inside, but I mean that's not something I'm telling you to do, but if for some reason you don't like the way it sits, you can try to adjust it. That's the nice thing about paper. But you know, that's part of the difference of this box is that little kind of lid portion. So now we're going to add that stem and leaf. So you, the leaf has little pre-cuts in it. So uh, what I did is I took a, a little bit of chalk, or you could, with a little tool, and then I chalked the cutouts. Like normally I wouldn't cut it like that, but it's just so you can give it, you can use a pen too to highlight those um, veins, I should say. And then I'm just kind of curling it a little bit. You want to be really gentle because there is a cut in the middle. And then I just kind of curled it around because I just wanted it to look curled. And then we have these two stem pieces. So they're going to glue back to back. So I'm making sure that the textured side is up because I'm using textured paper. But they're going to glue back to back on the top part. And the bottom pieces, there's a little cut to make a tab on each of them. And they're going to fold outward. So we'll glue them to the bottom of the insert. And you'll see that, and not the insert, the bottom of the um, that piece with the slit. I don't know where the word insert came from. And that's how it's going to glue together. And we're going to add, put the leaf in between them. Put the little stem of the leaf in between when we glue it. So kind of figure out how you want it. So we're just going to add glue. Just make sure you add it only above that cut out uh, score and I didn't have an actual score on there I did cut that a little little slot or a little score cut so I'm just kind of rearranging it to where I want it you could push it in a little bit further if you'd like and I need to line that up so this is where you just have to be quick about it if your glue is fast drying pick it up and make sure that it matches up at the top. So if it doesn't, just rearrange it. So I just had, it was a little sticky for me. I was just trying to get it to match up. And then once you get it in place, then you'll just apply pressure. It's just getting that them initially um, matched up. Or lined up, I should say. So now we just go ahead and slide those through the slit and then those tabs fold back. You'll add glue on the back side of each of the tabs to glue it to the bottom of that piece. And then we can carefully glue it to the top. And we're just gluing it like we did the bottom piece. The only difference is um, we can't obviously flip it over to apply pressure. You just need to apply pressure with your fingers. Fortunately, the lid is a little uh, less deep than the, the bottom portion. So just get it where you want it. Again, I had a little gap. So I was just trying to 
rotate it to see if I could hide that gap a little bit. And also you might want to check to make sure that it's you may have a side that's not as perfect as the other side to make sure that your stem and leaf are facing the side that you want. So just go ahead and apply pressure. I'm just kind of reaching in to apply opposite pressure on the inside. And that basically finishes the box. I mean, we do have a little um, word tag that's blank that you can add your own sentiment, which I added a little, um, it, it does go in. It's just, I wanted it a little bit tighter. So you may have to just kind of rearrange it to get in. Then I added a little uh, tag to the file if you want to use it. It's optional. Um, and the thanks is just a little sticker added to it. I hope you enjoyed this project and I thank you so much for watching.